Okay, here we have the Pibo Raspberry Pi case. This is an acrylic case, it's multicolored. So you've got here seven brilliant colors and a clear perspex uh, or see through acrylic top and bottom. So you can actually see still the circuit board and all the innards, as well as good, clear, robust access to all the ports and connectors necessary. Quite nice detail on these connectors, uh, not just on the recessed ones, but for example, you'll have a little bit of a cut through to enable and provide room around uh, the socket itself for the plug in connectors, etc. necessary. The HDMI one's particularly nice, so you've got here a really nice kind of recess. Um, so there's a couple of the color stripes where it's gone deeper to allow you to get a decent sized HDMI connector um, into this. Um, and allow it to be a, a good solid connection. Uh, as I say, I like uh, it's for me absolutely paramount that you've got a clear case upper and lower so you can see what's going on here. So it's nice to actually see people plug and, and see uh, people understand exactly what's going on with all these pin connectors for the uh, SD card insert, etc. Even little details like the uh, connector spring that is clearly a contact being made uh, so it can eat, simply detect whether there's an SD card in there or not. Just simple little details like that is exactly what I think this is all about. The case has got some really nice engraving, not just uh, naming their own company, pibo.com, etc. And these rather cute hearts that they've got here. Um, but you've also got on the very, very top layer, um, above where the, all the LED lights are, you've got a clear labelling um, of you know, the power, the uh, link light, etc., the 10 megabit light. You've got um, the USB uh, symbology, etc., for the standard cable above the network port. You've got the network port, uh, port iconography, etc. So all the uh, various ports are nicely labelled with the necessary icons in a really subtle and discreet way it's in that the information is there, it doesn't crowd you, doesn't clutter things up, or lets you see the brilliance of all the colour and uh, still gives you brilliant functionality. The Raspberry Pi logo on top is cut through, so this is again ventilation, so you've got rear ventilation on the base. There's quite a few cut throughs here, you've got four holes here, another eight holes here, four holes here, and on the top of the Raspberry Pi, all the uh, various uh, segments of the Raspberry Pi fruit have been cut through, and uh, you have here a very, very nice case. All this was very simply hand assembled. You get this in a in a box through the post, goes to the end, but your letterbox. So it's it's a little kind of cardboard envelope mailer, and uh, you get here four screws, four nuts, etc. Hand tightened. Um, they supply you a nice little dinky tool that allows you to tighten the uh, the screws up so you don't even need tools. I've done this with both my hands, my fingers and this tool and nothing else. And you've got here a really nice case and I think one of the prettiest. And just one last detail, the ribbon board connector option that you have on the Raspberry Pi. This case has already provided a very clever and discreet outlet. So hold it side and you can hardly not notice this. But in the red layer, which is the second colour down between the orange and the very, very top uh, uh, burgundy type colour, there's actually a, you can just about see that if I get the angle right, you can just see a black line there. Well, that's actually you seeing on the inside. So there's enough room there for a connector to be plugged in to the Raspberry Pi. Yes, you've got to take the first few layers off, just quickly disassemble it to allow this to happen. But you plug in your connector, ribbon cable through the side, you'd have that protruding down here. You then rebuild the layers, reattach it, and you've got yourself your Raspberry Pi with your uh, ribbon cable out the side, no problem at all. The Pibo website uh, also talking about doing various modifications and changes to allow, for example, the add-ons of uh, the camera that's proposed for the Raspberry Pi, as well as uh, monitor bracket type add-on for the base as an alternative base. So they're a company, they're a Sheffield-based uh, UK company. Um, they're selling this worldwide, so you can get this uh, anywhere. There's no difference in price. It's just ex extra post, post and packaging costs. So they're being very reasonable about this. Found the service very fast, and uh, as you can see, I think you've got here one of the uh, prettiest cases going, and uh, absolutely, I've seen some fantastic ones made out of Lego, etc., which are absolutely beautiful as well because you get, it lets people do something with colour and again brings a real home build to it. But if you want something really small, discreet, sturdy, because this is kind of clamped, these layers are clamped, there's no kind of movement at all, then uh, this is probably one of the, uh, the prettiest, sturdiest, colourful cases going at the moment and uh, it's, it's fantastic.